Hi friends, see this PDF document. This document is, uh, is generated by taking data and this data is converted to it in a tabular format. So we have added tables to our PDF document. We will learn that how to develop this uh, tables and add to our PDF document using our Python report lab. To draw a simple table, we have imported certain libraries. You can see at line one, this is our inch, what you will be using for our measurements and all. So initially we will not be using subsequently, then the letter uh, from the page size and then simple doc template. This class will be using because uh, for the drawing the tables, this is the main class. And there are some table styles also we'll use. We'll use it subsequently. Initially, we'll not use that. So this particular line will comment it initially because we are not using any external data to display. Simple some data we are used. Now at line number six, we have given our path where the our PDF document will be generated. You in your case, you can change it. So from your C drive or D drive, wherever drive and the path and you would see the file name. This particular file will be updating it. So this file will be generated. Now at line number eight, our simple data, this is a three line of student record and this first will be the list is a column header. And then these three are the tuples. You may ask why in this particular fashion? The reason is we are all for our examples, we are using our student table. So this student table, when you pull from a database, this format will get it. So the same format we want to try that in our basic. You can use anything else. So your own format, you can use it. This is just simple data. The list we are keeping at the top to differentiate that's the headers of the list uh, of the table that are the column headers. Uh, and these are the three rows of data. So you can use anything uh, of your. So now let's just create the object my doc. This is my object of simple doc template. So equal to I will say uh, simple doc here it is instead of typing okay simple doc template and i am giving my path and one more thing page size uh, page size equal to letter this letter we have imported at line number two you can see and my path is at line number six this is the path of our file where it will be all the directories including the file name here so that's my this object is ready now i will create the my table t equal to table then inside that i am taking my data my data is here at line number eight the list is here so my data so that i am using it here now one list i am creating elements because inside that it's like a container i'll be using elements is a blank list then inside this elements dot append i will append my table to that so one of the element is my table here now i will use the build method of my document my document i have already declared it as an object at line number 13 so i am using build now what i am building is i am giving the elements that's all so my, now that table is should be placed in my simple doc or inside the object so the pdf file will be created i am just running this let's see uh, okay there is no error let me refresh this page and see once here it is my table first line is my the in the list whatever i have used then the three rows of data whatever i am because all these are treated as a single data and the table is generated now let me go for more number of records or rows so for that i will not use this my data what i will do i'll remove this and this line I will uncomment. So what happens from my table data? So import my data. What is this in this table? Let's see is here is my table data page. Here the same my data variable name also I kept it same. Instead of having three rows, I am having 35 rows. Only another th 35 means another 31 records are added to this. This I will save this and come back to my original file here and I am saving now this. Now I am running. Instead of 3, it will be now 35. Let's just run this and see. So let me s refresh this view. I'll see. Yeah, now it is 35. Now 34 record, 35th record has gone to my second page. Now let me add one option here. Where is my here? Let me just add one option. Now row height. Here while creating this table, my data. So I'll say uh, row height row heights equal to 40 
what happens now now i am slightly every height i am increased now let's i am running this again refreshing this view again now you can see it has gone so each around 14 records are coming so three phases it has spanned the same records but you see in the first record only this header is appearing column heads second only row suppose i want that every page top this particular row should repeat so that we'll see now what i will do here i will say repeat rows equal to 1 so what happens now i am just running it say again fine let's go there refresh it see this id name class mark gender now here also id name class mark so every page though the it has uh, it has run to three pages so everywhere this particular row is repeated now let us <coughs> increase the column width so for that i am just giving a creating a list so i am saying 1 multiplied by inch okay 1 inch i am just giving a width so here i am saying that repeat rows there now i am saying next is column width equal to c width here at the top line i have declared it here 1 inch now let's see i am running this and let's see how it has affected now if i will run this you can see this width has gone up width of each column so id name class mark all are now one inch but this is not the fair way because id doesn't require that much its thing so what i can do also i can give specific uh, size to the particular column so i will say it is uh, 0 0.4 is id now i will say 1.5 into inch this is my name column will should have now rest will be let's say name then let me just go here name then class so class i am giving one inch again one into then mark also i am giving one into inches fine now one more one into sorry jin so one two three four five so now this id will have less name will have more rest will have three three so let's just create this again no error so let us refresh this and see you can see now this id id is less name is slightly more than one one inches i have given now let's add some style to our table so t dot set style now inside this function i am using table style here it is fine and okay inside that because multiple values so i am creating a list of it what i will let's start with our background so i am selling k g r o u n d background now background means first i have to give from which cell to which cell so here the dimensions are little different though first one is zero zero but it is usually in kinter and all we have seen it is rows columns no here in this case it is column and row so this first one is our column value second one is our row value so let's say where it ends sorry here it is no i am selling that minus one minus one means the rightmost column is minus one similarly minus one if and second means the uh last row so the rightmost row and uh, right cell of the bottom row bottom most row is minus one minus one so here i am saying minus one zero means the first row last that means this is nothing but the top line top row so this color color was this dimensions in this table so you can understand whatever uh, colors colors we have imported from the top light green so that's all low light colors here it is you can see here we have so that we are using light green so let's just save this slightly this this one will reduce it to 20 now i'm saving this running no error no colors so this is C O L O R S C O L O R S. I have not imported this or what. Oh, sorry. Here I have to give comma. Right. So colors light green. Now let's G uh, light green. Okay. Run it again. Save it. Uh, not enough values to unpack. Expect to got one. So background one two. 
वन जीरो वन जीरो कलर्स डॉट लाइट ग्रीन नाउ हियर आई हैव टू क्लोज दिस सॉरी आफ्टर बैकग्राउंड देर शुड नॉट ओके हियर आई हैव टू क्लोज दिस दिस ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ब्रैसेस यू आर टू ई केयरफुल फाइन नाउ लेट्स जस्ट वंस अगेन रनिंग दिस ओके नो एर नाउ लेट मी गो देयर एंड रिफ्रेस इट यू कैन सी सी द टॉप वन so this color has second page also because we are repeating this second page also it has changed one more style we'll add that's the font size so i'll put a comma and coming to next line here it is i have written inside that i will write the font size font size fine now where to where now see the entire table means zero column zero row is zero means top left to right most whatever is there i am just giving minus 1 column minus 1 mean last now row minus 1 means the last bottom row so it is the entire seat at the entire page now size i am specifying as 10 so this is how i can says i am just saving this running once again no error so fine let's just go there and run it okay it's 10 is earlier also let's just slightly increase this and see how it changes now i am making it say 18 saving this running again reaching here refreshing yeah okay so this is 18 now size has increased then i again i had to increase the row height then this top one alignments i had to do lot of other options i had to adjust it so this like this i can add multiple style properties to this the table and see now let's come back and there is a big list is there alignment background color all this thing you can just see the manual and go on adding your uh, style properties and you can even border it a particular row you can background color say that's important that we'll try now let me just bring it back to 10 let's save this fine now refresh this i am back fine now one of the row i will make it background highlighted say let line number 13 let's see that let me just copy up this particular background once we have done this up to this i have copied this now after this font size here here i'll put a comma and paste it now instead of okay the color first let me ch make it yellow so i hope it supported yeah so here for starting from the leftmost so zero column now the row number i am giving 13 now here minus 1 let it be minus 1 because up to the entire row i am selecting means column is minus 1 so the right most column and here i am giving 13 so let's just see what happens now i have saved it no error now let me just reload this ah you can see the 13th row is highlighted say you will see learn that say who got the highest marks should be highlighted we'll pick up the row which one is highest from our query or anything and then accordingly we'll highlight it now let's just say this is up to 16 will move let's see what happens i kept it 13 16 so i am just saving this no error now let me find see this i can also create a grid here instead of keeping it so well, there are many various options are there you can explore it so we'll keep it here now let's uh, further styles all this you can font color background you can go on exploring and add it we'll learn a different technique now let's just come here here you see we are all importing data from my data this is here and let me just come back to my table my, my table data it is here now see this is around 35 records are there rows are there so all this 35 rows i am displaying now now i can try that this data can be come from a different different source let it be from a sql database or uh, sqlite or from it can be from google sheet csv or from a pandas data frame also wherever it comes the basic drawing of our table whatever we we'll, we have used now here it is one basic b this part will remain same and what we will do is we'll keep on changing this so the this variable my data is generated by taking data from uh, 
a SQL database or from a Excel sheet or from a CSV anywhere any source I can use it and create this one that way it will solve my problem and moreover when the query is generated I will take it which one to be highlighted say highlight all the students of class 4 so I can you have seen already how I am highlighting I just have to identify a create a list of uh, uh, rows only which needs to be highlighted so like that all the database manipulation we can do those things will see slowly slowly in the next part we'll move to a one data source then we'll move to different different data sources that's all for this today just practice this how you create the tables and there are a lot of in the manual various other styles are also there you can go on experimenting these are all important styles what you have studied we'll be using this also and i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new new videos we frequently do that please suggest your ideas questions and feedbacks so accordingly we'll modify the sessions uh, modify the tutorials to help you better understand and please raise your questions and thank you for watching and please share and subscribe to our channel thank you